Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install IntelliJ IDEA IDE on Windows 10. So IntelliJ is one of the most popular IDEs to run Java programs, Java project. So guys, to install IntelliJ IDE on Windows 10, you need to install Java 15. So we already installed Java 15. We have added the link in the description so that you can easily install Java 15 on Windows 10. To install Java 15 in the following location. C drive, program files, Java, here it is JDK 15. We also set the part there itself. So now let's close this. So now let us see how we can easily install IntelliJ IDEA. To install it, you need to first download it. So go to your browser, type IntelliJ, on typing press enter. Now you need to click on the following website. This is the official website jetbrains.com. Here you need to click on download. We will also add this download link in the description. So here we have two versions for IntelliJ IDEA. One is an ultimate version and another one is community. This is having free trial and after that you need to pay and this is the free version. Here you can see free and open source. We will download the free version. So click on download. The exe file will download. I'll click on download now. Now here you can see on the left the download started. You need to wait for few seconds. So guys on the bottom you can see we have successfully downloaded IntelliJ IDEA exe file which is the community edition that is a free and open source version. Now click on this arrow and open let's minimize this now the setup started click on next on clicking next you can see the destination folder the IntelliJ IDEA will get installed in the following location program files under JetBrains folder it will take 1.1 GB space you should have sufficient space if you want to change the location click on browse and set the location wherein you need to install wherein you want to install IntelliJ IDEA. I'll click cancel, I'll keep the default location and click on next. Now here installation options are visible. Let's check them one by one. You want to create a desktop shortcut? Yes, 64 bit launcher. You want to update context menu? Yes, I want to set add one folder as project. I'll click this. Rest keep as it is. Obviously we need to set the path variable. You need to click on this. But remember after this you need to restart your system. So I have selected this. Now I'll click on next. Here start menu folder. Yes, I want to set. Keep the default and click on install. Now the installation started. You need to wait for a few seconds. So guys, we have successfully installed IntelliJ IDEA. You can see here. If you want to reboot now, click here and click on finish. I want to manually reboot later so I'll keep the default and click on finish. Now just restart your system, go to start, click on power and restart from here. That's it. So guys we have successfully restarted our system. Now the desktop shortcut is visible for IntelliJ IDEA. I'll double click to open. Now the privacy policy is visible. You can read this and click on I confirm. Now click on continue. Data sharing, keep it as don't send. So IntelliJ IDEA is opening for the first time. Theme, you can set the dark theme as well as light theme. Let's say I'll go for a dark theme and I'll click on next. Default plugins, if you want to, if you want to customize them, you can customize, else keep the default and click on next. These are the featured plugins you can easily download later. You can download any one later. You can see just click on install. I'll keep the default because we are working on basic installation. So I'll just click on start using IntelliJ IDEA. So guys, welcome to IntelliJ IDEA. You can just click on new project here to begin new project. So guys, here you can see new project Java version. We told you initially that you need Java for IntelliJ IDEA. We installed Java. Here you can set another JDK if you want or you can download here but it has by default detected Java 15 which we installed so keep it as it is. 
click on next now click on next again here set the name of the project here I have set the name as Amit Java application now click on finish so on the left you can see the project directory here is the source now right click click on new let's add a package first here we have set the package now press enter now under the package right click new java class file let's create set the name of the class file let's say i'll set it as demo click on class here press enter here we have created a new file so here we have created a sample program and printed a line now let's run it to run just right click click on run here so guys here you can see in the bottom output is visible first java example of IntelliJ idea here is the text we added and the output is visible here is a project directory under source we created a package com.studiopedia here it is under com.studiopedia we created demo class file here it is under out you can see after running the program it created a demo.class that's it so guys in this video we saw how we can easily download and install IntelliJ idea for IntelliJ idea you need java you also saw how to install java so guys thank you for watching the video do subscribe to our channel.